Remember, do not live in fear, live in preparedness. I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. So, my youngest child came and said, Mom, there's something on the porch for you. I was in the room editing. Thought I was done recording. Uh, share these berries, you guys. I don't know. Who said this? Your daughter. Raven? Mm. Oh my gosh. She didn't even hint that she sent something. She was calling you, I guess, but you didn't answer. When? I don't know, just now. She's like, where's mom? Oh, my phone didn't ring. Mm. I'll call her next. are best when enjoyed within 24 hours. But don't worry about that. They sure will be enjoyed, won't they? <laughs> That's nice. Dipped strawberries. It's just something to keep it cold, maybe. I know. Which one you get? Chocolate? Nope. Mm -hmm. I don't like dark chocolate. Um, bring those over here so I can get those in the picture. Yeah. <laughs> Cheap tear and open the strawberries. So, these are the ones that you gave me, Raven. And then these are the ones that CJ gave me. And... Here are... See the little vase? The berries. Thank you. I love you so much. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? I'm just going to bring you along with me for a little vlog day. This is some bread that I made the other day. I'm making myself some little coffee with a little lemon, a little bit of creamer. This cup is available. And you guys, I've been doing this in order to lose a little weight. And it has been working. Hey fam, welcome back to the channel. So I just want to say good morning, gorgeous. You know that Mary J. Blige song? I love that song. So today is Tuesday and y'all, today is my birthday. So I want to come on and spend just a little time with you and see how you are doing. Hopefully you are well. Hopefully you are um, enjoying your morning, having a cup of coffee, whatever it is you're doing, cleaning your home. Um, just preparing to be a little more productive than you were the day before. I know I am, y'all. The weather is changing out here. You see I have on this little vest right here. Let me tell you. It is 41. It's probably about 43 now, but it was 41 when I woke up an hour ago. I also am about to plant my cabbage collards what else broccoli um romaine lettuce i have the red and the green romaine lettuce i'm excited about that because it's i've been wondering when i'm gonna get around to doing it so i actually bought starts i found starts yesterday at ace hardware so y'all if you can't find starts that you like 
at Lowe's or Home Depot. Check out Ace Hardware, and I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just letting you know that's usually where I can find even seeds. I found collard green seeds. Lowe's did not have them. Home Depot did not have them. I only had two packs, but I wanted to have more. And I bought the remainder that they had. They did say they had more in the back, but the ones that were on the shelf, I took those. And some mustard green seeds, which I haven't seen. I don't eat mustard. Like I said, I don't eat mustard greens, um, but my mother-in-law does. So I picked up her some packs of collards, some packs of mustards, and I think she's gonna grab me a big box of apples from the farmer's market. I gotta make sure um, she might need to get me two because I need I need Granny Smith and I need the um, regular apples for you know canning. So you guys, let's get busy. Let's get into the garden. Again, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. And I do have, I might do a store walkthrough today. I don't know. I haven't done a store walkthrough in over a week. Y'all probably like, yeah, you have. But those were videos that I did last week or the week before. So I want to do a fresh one for you guys, okay? And also, I want to remind you guys, don't be out here panicking, being in fear. Don't live like that. Don't live in fear. Live in preparedness. Go out and get your home prepared for any possible situation that might take place. We're dealing with high prices of fuel. My husband just talked to me and said diesel has gone up 33 cents overnight from $5 to $5.33. So truckers are still having to pay a lot of money for fuel not to mention if they have an older truck like my husband does and he said he had truck problems last night as well so that's more money coming out of their pockets and possibly not having the tools in to get it fixed or the parts in rather to get it fixed that's major so i'm glad he knows how to fix things himself but you can't fix what you don't have and i did not dye my hair y'all I'm looking at my hair now in this light and I'm like the only thing I've dyed is my roots I dyed my roots black <laughs> so that um, I'm not dealing with the gray right now I don't want I don't want I don't feel like it okay I don't but the rest of my hair this is me but it my hair changes colors in the fall it turns like a fall color for some reason but this is extreme it's never been this folly okay so um i didn't dye my hair if you're wondering i didn't this is just me just me just like with my eyes they change colors as well from gray to brown so let's get into this video so me and my husband went out on monday picked up some soil and then we dropped a few in each of the three raised beds that we we're going to do and left a few up in the front of the house where i pulled out all of my peppers at so right now i'm just putting down some azomite blood meal bone meal and then in this bed i believe i was planting collard greens so I am known for overcrowding my beds and that's something I'm trying to get away from, but I wasn't paying attention that that's what I was doing. Later in the video, you will see me take a look back at it and go, well, I need to pull these up. So don't put your plants too close together because as they grow, you guys, they will fill in your beds. You don't have to overcrowd them like I did. So in the inside of the first and the second raised bed, right here, I am planting broccoli. You had me at a low. And we will be laying a landscape fabric down in between the rows of these beds to try to keep the grass down so that I don't have to do all the weeding that I've been doing lately. So on this side, I planted cabbage 
in I did clutter them together again but you'll see me stand up look back at it and go hey I need to pull some of these up and I ended up planting those in my other containers you'll see later in the video So this is the moment where I step back and I think, hmm, it's way too many in here. And then I start pulling them back up to place them into the other containers you'll see later. This bed for right now is strictly cabbage. I'll decide later if I'm going to actually plant any cabbage seeds or collard seeds, like if some of these starts don't make it. So next thing I'm about to do is put my patio garden together and I'm sure I don't have enough soil I probably do but I don't want to take away from the soil that I have for the front of my home or uh, our home so I also grow in containers in buckets I got these from Lowe's or and you can get them from Home Depot as well make sure you put holes in them at the bottom and around the sides I'm pretty much going to do the same thing I'm going to add my soil then I'm going to add my bone meal and my blood meal and my azomite and that little metal thing came out of one of the bags so when you're pouring your soil out of the bags make sure you're going through it with your hands because sometimes you get little pieces in your soil And some might say, why are you working on your birthday doing this? But you guys, honestly, gardening is very peaceful. It's a great mindset. Right now, I'm putting down my romaine lettuce. I have red and green. And I decided I would do both of my cement containers with those because later I'll do spinach. So everything is watered down. And like I said, later I'll do spinach, but I'll probably do it in a separate container. So y'all, I forgot to close out the video. I want to say thank you so very much for sharing this day with me. I feel special. I don't feel like I'm by myself because y'all know my husband is on the road. Although we FaceTime and we do, all, you know, talk. But, you know, I still feel like I have you guys with me. Um, some of you have been with me from the beginning. Some of you are new to the channel. It does not matter. Either way, I love each and every one of you. And I thank you for taking time out of your day because out of all the things that there is to do in a day, you carved away a small amount of time for your girl, Tommy. And I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in my next video so i'm about to actually finish cleaning my bedroom and then i'm gonna head out to a store i was trying to say of course you know so y'all take care i love you but god loves you more he created only one you be the best you that you can be and when you are go out and spread god's love remember do not live in fear live in preparedness pray plan and prep and we can get through anything together talk to each other in the comments give each other tips and ideas and don't forget to share this video and any other video that i do um to get out to more people y'all take care love you guys